morning. Hey, everyone. I'm Annie Dickerson. And on behalf of Julie Lim, we're welcoming you to another episode of the Life and Money Show. And today I'm joined by none other than Susan Elliott. She's our lead copywriter on the Good Egg team and the newest member to the Good Egg team. Susan, we're thrilled to have you here. Welcome. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks so much for that welcome, Annie. And it's so great to be here. What is a river? engineer. What is a river That's engineer a question. do? <laughs> yeah, we do. Um, I worked on a lot of projects where we would design essentially new river systems, you know, out of existing ones. We're not just putting a new river in, but we would take rivers that had been degraded or damaged by excessive um, pollution, or, you know, there was a phase of um, engineering that where we dammed a lot of rivers in this country, where we diverted, we just like put them into canals and said, oh, we'll just, we need this river way over there. We want to build houses over here. Lo and behold, that actually like worsens the environment for everybody, causes excessive flooding. It does all this damage to not just the ecosystem, but also to the infrastructure and around it. Um, and so we would take systems like that and kind of put them back into their naturalized habitat. That meant removing some dams that were just outdated and not even working anymore. It would mean increasing the habitat for salmon, especially in the Northwest where I live in uh, of the United States, where it's such a keystone species for the ecosystem, for the people, the, um, you know, all of that. So it was, it was a pretty big dream job. I got to tromp around rivers all the time. I worked with amazing people, but there was always this kind of like little bit of bug in me that, I couldn't identify that wasn't truly satisfied. And I have one other question um, that I'm sure a lot of people are curious about. So from your experience, you know, you mentioned there's a lot more work that goes into being an active investor, whether that's investing in notes or um, flipping or investing in rental properties versus investing passively into syndication where other people do the majority of the work for you. But in your experience, you know, usually in life, if something's easier, that means you got to give something, you got to sacrifice something else, right? So is there a downside? Are you making less investing in syndications? Or tell me a little bit more about your personal experience there. Oh, that's such a good mindset, uh, limiting belief back there. I mean, that was something that I told myself too. Well, we are still young in this game. My husband used to build houses. Of course, we're going to like do the live in fix and flip. Of course, we're going to add value to our own little portfolio because that's where you make it. That's where you hustle. And that's where a lot of my friends did it too. And um, except that this is an evolving industry and there are, there's technology advances everywhere. There's entrepreneurs out there with incredible business ideas and the evolution of you know, allowing these syndications to come to more people, right? With these new SEC laws that have happened in the past decade or something, you know, there, there is a better way. I think that we get stuck in seeing that, well, that's the way that wealth has been made in real estate, You're doing the hustle and the grind for the past X number of decades. Like of how could that be different now? Well, yeah, everything is evolving and changing in our world. Um, and so there, there can be different ways. And I, I think that the people that get fixated on that and use that, it's kind of turns into a little bit of an excuse or it turns into just like not doing their own due diligence to look at the track record behind these groups that have had, you know, 20 plus full cycle deals and are just like knocking it out of the park for their investors. And um, it's, I think it'll, you know, in the next decade, we're going to find that like this is the, the best way for a group of people to invest that have other stuff going on in their lives that they're focused on. <laughs> 